Hi there, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page five. Page five. So let's see, page five, you're gonna start with a pocket um, that's gonna go on the bottom, and it is three and three quarters, three and three quarters by nine. Three and three quarters by nine. You know, score a half inch on three sides to form a pocket. Okay, and I'm gonna have a flap on top and it is eight by five and a quarter. Eight across by five and a quarter height, and you're gonna score a half inch. I'm gonna attach this to the top of page five. Okay. And you should have a small gap between the, the flap and the pocket, and that is because we're going to use an insert to keep the pocket closed. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as, oh, let me start, let me back up a little bit. Uh, here it is. So here's what's gonna cover the pocket, and it is an eight by eight that I've split in half. So that's the closed position. So let's go ahead and put these pieces in. Let's make sure they're cut right. They're inked, ready to go. Okay, let's cover our pocket. You dry fit once more. If you're having trouble seeing, it's always good to put a contrast in. And it looks like, I'm glad I did, looks like I need to trim just a little bit off the edge. <clears throat> In fact, this is going to be one of the inserts that we're going to use, but first, let's trim this down to fit. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of room so that it can slide into the pocket slightly, um, maybe an eighth of an inch. Now, when I did that, that left me with a little strip here. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
lay that in here and then I'm going to trim something to fit right there. Ink. I think I need to ink it where I cut it down. Stupid gnat in here. I think I just got it. It's like a fruit fly, but I don't have any fresh fruit in there, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. find a nice contrast to go here. It's like an inch and five eighths, one and five eighths, which is about as low as I can go in my current trimmer without, <laughs> I'm forgetting to use my sponge, old habits, um, without having to freehand. The Rota trim, I love it, cuts straight, but it doesn't cut slivers like my Caterpillar did because it's got a uh, a band that you slide your paper under. And that band is about an inch wide. Helps hold the paper in place, but pros and cons, pros and cons. Okay, so as you know, there's no magnet here, so we're gonna use this insert to hold everything together. And I'm going to add another insert. This is eight by eight. I think I want seven by seven. Let me see if I've got something here that size. Nope. Mm, let's see. I didn't handy. So this is a five by seven. This is like a four by six. Yeah. Um, and it's folded in half. I did the same thing as I did on the eight by eights. So I'm gonna leave these in here. I am gonna come back and cover that, but after I finish my other pages and know what I have left over. So that is it for page five. Okay, back soon. <laughs>